everything is kind of like content, as my viewers know, so they like to see the generic shit. Check it out, bro. I'm here with Mr. Retro Games himself, RJ. We're about to do an interview for his Instagram account. Um, and YouTube. And YouTube. And YouTube. Y'all go check him out, support. I'm going to put a little link or a website or the app, whichever, somewhere in the video. I'm excited for this, man. I love doing interviews and like a con interview is something I've always been wanting to do. So I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, hey, of course, of course, of course, course. It's been hectic today, so let's make this shit happen. <laughs> All right. All right. Camera's still going, right? So my camera is still going. Yeah. I'm the type with my fan base or my follow base is, is uh, what they see is what they get. Gotcha. So typically what I do, I don't have any plans or anything. I go off flowing energy. Since I've met you, you've had nothing but good yeah. energy. So what I do is, right, I set the clock for 15 minutes, right? Okay, good. When it goes off, I ask, hey, do you want to continue? Can we keep going? Gotcha. Again, the conversation goes based off flowing energy. Course, so okay. I'm gonna hit the clock now. Yeah. So like I've told everybody that's oh you can look at me, you can look at the camera, everything content. So they everybody know on my channel, everybody know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh I wanna uh one give a huge shout out to uh Chris and uh T. They uh network this. Mm -hmm. uh, so on my channel I've been interviewing powerlifters, bodybuilders, right. strong competitors. Yeah. But you know, my page is open to everybody, gamers, cosplayers, you know, uh uh thugs and gangsters. Now let me stop, let me stop, <laughs> let me stop. But no, um, thank you for coming to my channel. Nice, um, to uh, one, tell us your uh, cosplay uh, journey and story. And also, if you don't mind, I also like to discuss your fitness journey as well. Of course, man. So with yeah. that being said, let me, st still going? Same. Hey, let me stop rambling. Uh, please introduce yourself and then we'll just yeah. go from there. Okay, cool. So my name is Ramses Tovar. Mm -hmm. Some people like to call me Pharaoh. As my name on my Instagram goes, Pharaoh Fitness NC. Tag. That's tag, there we go. <laughs> Pretty much on every platform. Um, I've been working out since I was 13, man. I'm 24 now, so over 10 years. It's been a crazy journey, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of ups and downs. I mean, what do you expect after 10 years, bro? It's hard, mm -hmm. but it's fun, man. I mean, it's my freaking passion. I love doing it, and I wouldn't be here today without any of that, bro. So fitness means a lot to me, and being a nerd. <laughs> say, hey, say less, say less. So um, yeah. with that being said, uh, sticking with the anime and cosplay for this portion. So um, what... How old were you when you were first introduced to anime? What was your first anime that you watched? Dude, In what category? What category? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna tell you what, I definitely was not watching hentai at three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No kids should be watching yeah. hentai at that age or you know, anywhere below 18. <laughs> It'll poison your mind. Mm -hmm. But no, uh, on a serious note, I started off with, I believe, I want to say Dragon Ball Z when I was hey, three. Right, Classic, right? right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but during that time, I recall watching a lot of like Rurouni Kenshin, Yu Yu Hakusho, stuff like that. A lot of like 80s and 90s. You were 2000 babies though, oh, right? I was a 2000s baby, yeah. But you got integrated into the 90s? Oh yeah, dog. Oh yeah. You hear that T? You hear, nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, no, no, my bad. You hear that, Rebecca? Nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let's yeah, continue. No, bro, you, you go so hard, man. The, mm -hmm. the, the fits, the soundtrack. But, um, no, I mean, if I can really remember the most, definitely Dragon Ball, man. Say less, say less. Yeah. So, um, so out of those that you, that you, uh, that you just mentioned, so like, what category do you mainly go towards? Is it like mystery? Is it action? Is it uh you know blood and guts? <laughs> no, no, let me start. Yeah, I would definitely say action. Action. Um, I mean, it's just very captivating. I feel like with action, a lot of times they uh, they allow themselves to go crazy with the animation. Mm -hmm. Not to say that other anime can't, but it's like they take a lot of liberty to express uh, the artist's uh, creative range uh, by just animating the fights in an insane way. And on top of that, man, it's like. Some of those shows you can just turn off your mind and watch. Um, mm -hmm. My bad, what happened? Good? No, hey, you can come in, you can come in, bro. Everything's, what's up? Yeah, I see him, what's up? We'll find, we'll find another location. Hey, cut it, cut it, cut it. Do I have to move? Yeah. Oh, 